μεγαλώνει με και πολιώνει με φθονία και θυροκτώνε, φυλαγρότη και λυπηρία, δρυμονή τη και βρωτών ελπή. Ελθέ, τι κατέχει ωραίων δρυμού, ελθέ θεά σώτηρα, άγουσα καλού καρπού, από γέη ειρήνη κερατίν, καλυπλόκαμον τη υγεία και ο θεά έβδρομε, πέμπει δυσωρέων και φαλά, νόσου στε και άλγη. Επικαλούμε σε μάκαρ, πολιώνει με περίπολε και τελετάρχα, θεών πάτερη δε και η ε, σκυπτούχε, κούρε δημάτορ, βοτριό κόσμο διγέ των κομών, ελθέ μάκαρ, μίστε συμβρίων και χαριμένο σε ή. Τι λαμβάνει η χώρα, Μεγαλώνει με θεά, αγλαώτη με, τέχνον μύτη, πολίων με. Πολυλίστη λιτήρα κακών, ει τρού αυρωτών ψυχά. Σύθεα, το σιρή. Επικαλούμε σε μάκαρ, πολιώνει με περίπολε και τελετάρχα. Θεών πάτερη δε και η ε, σκυπτούχε, κούρε δημάτορ, βοτριό κόσμο οδηγέ των κομών. Ελθέ, μάκαρ, μίστε συμβρίων και χαριμένο σε ή. Hello, I'm... Hey, Igor Banner, we've heard all about you. Are you going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Yes, that's me. And yes, I'm telling you a story. Let us sing with the voice of the gods about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. Acrisius, the king of Argos, was not a good man. He had one child, a daughter, the Nye. Bitter that he had no son, he went to the Oracle of Delphi and heard a prophecy that chilled him. Ooh, what was it? The Oracle said Acrisius would be killed by his grandson, but the Nye was unmarried and childless at the time. To protect himself, he locked the Nye in a bronze room, open only to the sky. However, mighty Zeus saw the girl and fell in love with her. He transformed into a golden shower and seduced her. The Nye gave birth to a son, Perseus. I knew it. King Acrisius couldn't kill the boy for fear of angering Zeus. So he put his daughter and grandson in a wooden crate and tossed them into the wild sea to be drowned. How horrid. Poor Perseus. Perseus and his mother, the Nye, were rescued on the island of Seriphos, and Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman, Victis. Lucky them! Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight, and how to be good and just, even though his father was only a fisherman. I can do all those things too! Yeah, good for you. Except swim, or be just. Hush! Now, Victis' brother was ruler of the island, but he was not a good man. He's scum. The cruel king of Seriphos, Victis' brother, Polydectis, decided he wanted to marry the Nye, for she was still beautiful and noble. But Perseus knows his mother does not want this. Victis couldn't stop his brother, so it was up to Perseus to interfere and be annoying. <laughs> Christos, that's your job. I will keep the stinky king from marrying you. The cruel and uh, stinky king 
became angry. To get rid of Perseus, Polydectes sent him on an impossible quest. Prove yourself a warrior, and fetch me a worthy wedding gift, the king said, by killing a great monster. I knew it! Shh, I knew it too. Polydectes told Perseus to bring back the head of Medusa, the Gorgon whose gaze could turn anyone who looked into her eyes to stone. Ah! Polydectes knew that Medusa would be Perseus' death. That stinker! But the evil king did not know Perseus was favored by the gods. Hermes gifted Perseus with winged sandals and a silver sickle, and Athena gave him a bronze shield polished mirror bright. Perseus flew to Medusa's lair and used the shield to watch her reflection. He cut off her head with the sickle of Hermes. As she died, the winged foal Pegasus sprung from her neck. Yes! Flying home, Perseus found the maiden Andromeda chained on the Ethiopian cliffs, waiting to be sacrificed to the baleful sea monster Ketos. Perseus used Medusa's head to turn Ketos to stone, rescued Andromeda, and married her. Take that, Ketos! Perseus returned home to find King Polydectes relentlessly pursuing Danae. They quarreled, and Perseus showed the king his wedding gift. When he saw Medusa's head, Polydectes turned to stone. Yes! Perseus traveled to Argos with his family, and one day competed in the great athletic games. He hurled the discus, and his throw was so great that it shot into the stands and struck King Acrisius. So doing, Perseus killed his grandfather and fulfilled the prophecy. Hurrah! You can't escape your fate. In the end, Perseus and Andromeda settled in Mycenae as king and queen and had seven sons and two daughters, the Perside. That was a great telling of the tale. I'll never forget it. Maybe the best. I can't wait to tell all my friends. Ah, oh, thank you. I couldn't help overhearing the end of your story. Truly inspiring, Eagle Bearer. Thank you. Ah. <laughs>